Alright, so today we're going to make a speedrun timer that'll show you how long it took when you touched the finish line. Let's get started off in your character blueprint, make a new boolean, I'm going to name this pause timer. Compile save, I'm going to make a new user interface, widget blueprint, name this speedrun timer. Open that up, I'm going to add a canvas panel, and then I'm going to get a piece of text. I'm going to anchor that to the top. I'm going to change the size, and I'm also going to recenter it. And then I'm going to change that to blank. Go into the is variable and change that to timer. Go into the graph. Get player character, cast to BP third person character. Right click and promote that to a variable. Then go down to the event tick and get your character out. And then you want to look for that boolean that we made. Plug that into a branch. And then we're going to make a custom event for the timer. You need another variable here. I'm going to call this speedrun timer. Change it to a float. Compile save. Drag it out. Get world delta seconds and add them together. And then you drag out your speedrun timer and set it and plug that in. Next you get time seconds to string. Grab your timer. Set text. Plug that in. Go back up to the event tick and get your timer event and put it in the false. Compile save. Now we're going to make a blueprint class actor. This is going to be your finish line or wherever you want the timer to pause at. Alright, so add a box collision and then scroll down. I'm going to uncheck that so I could see it in game and change the size here. Compile save. Go into the event graph, scroll down on the details here and get on component begin overlap. You can delete these. You just need to begin play. Get player character. Cast a BP third person character. Right click promote to variable. Drag it out down here. Go from other actor and do equal. Into a branch. Plug that in. Now get your character out. And then you want to set pause timer on the true and tick that to true. Save that. Drag out that actor we just made. Then go into your character on begin play. Create widget. Get player controller. And then choose your speedrun timer and then promote that to a variable. And then you want to add to viewport. Now it's just testing it out here. It pauses when we touch the finish line. Make another widget blueprint. This is going to be my windscreen. Canvas panel. I'm going to put a border in the center here. Stretch it out. I'm going to change the color. That's the wrong spot. There we go. Then I'm going to right click this and wrap it with a background blur. And then I'm going to change the blur strength. I'm going to put a piece of text inside my border. Center that. Make that blank. Tick is variable. And then this is going to be the final time. Go over to your graph. Get rid of the construct and event tick. You can get player character. Cast a BP third person character. Right click promote to variable. Now you get the, pr the event construct. Get your character out. Get your speedrun timer. And then get the variable inside there, the speedrun timer. Drag out your text. Set text. Do time seconds to string. Plug that in, compile save, go 
going to your speedrun timer into the graph and on true we're going to get to drag this out and create a widget get player controller choose your windscreen right click promote this to a variable and then add it to the viewport compile save drag this out and do a do once and compile and save and at the end here you want to get your character out and disable the movement Now you can go in your windscreen. I'm just going to add another piece of text here. I'm going to change the size and center it. And I'm just going to change what it says. You finished in. And then it'll show the time underneath that inside the border. Save all, hit play, test it out. Thanks for watching.